Welcome to Empty Cross Ministries Devotional Time. I'm Brother David. Excuse me. <clears throat> Today we're going to be going to be talking about work is God's way. Work for many is a way to be fulfilled, a means to better oneself, and a means to have what one desires. Hard work is embraced and desired by many. It is their means of happiness and one of their purposes in this life. Work to others is a four-lettered word that saddens them and is something that they avoid as much as they can. Many have so much disdain for hard work that much of modern civilization is geared around ways to have the benefits of labor without actually doing any labor. Instead of dreaming to be a carpenter, doctor, nurse, or one with a fulfilled future, many are dreaming of winning the lottery, or getting someone else to do their work for them. Others plan 
of taking advantage of government handouts and getting all they can from someone else's hard-earned money, deceiving someone out of their money and countless other schemes of getting their needs met without laboring for them. Laziness has become a way of life and the dream job for many. God has much to say about work in his word, the Bible. For those that desire to know what God says about the subject and desire to live the way that pleases him, here is some of what, of what the word of God says about work. God works. If the creator works, those that he created should follow his example. Creation was some of God's work. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. That's Genesis chapter 2, verse 2. Also look at Exodus chapter 20, verse 9, Psalm chapter 8, verse 3. God works at protecting his people. See Exodus chapter 1, verse 31. Jesus worked. If we are Christians or Christ-like, we should emulate Jesus' work ethic. But Jesus answered them, My Father worketh hitherto, and I work. That's the Gospel of John chapter 5, verse 17. Also, the Gospel of John chapter 4, verse 34. God wants us to work. This we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. Now them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. At Second Thessalonians Chapter 3, verse 10. And ye that study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we commanded you. That's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. That's Exodus chapter 20, verse 9. Also look at Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 13 and Psalm 104, verse 23. One will be happier if he works for what he gets. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. That's Psalm 128, verse 2. Wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished, but he that gathereth by labor shall increase. That's Proverbs chapter 13, verse 11. Those that try to get money an easy way without laboring for it often find that they are always broke and cannot seem to get seem to keep what they have. There is nothing better for a man than he should eat and drink, and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw that it was from the hand of God. That's Ecclesiastes chapter two verse twenty four. Look also at Proverbs fourteen verse twenty three and Ecclesiastes chapter three verse thirteen. God can bless a hard worker, as he did Job. Hast not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. That's Job chapter 1, verse 10. Also look at Psalm chapter 62, verse 12, and Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 13. There is the work of ungodly that God does not accept, and the godly should avoid. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in equity. That's Matthew chapter 7, verse 23. Look also at Psalm 101, verse 3. Psalm 135, verse 15. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18. A person's character is often judged by his work ethic. Even a child is known by his doings whether his work be pure and whether it be right. That's Proverbs chapter 20, verse 11. Also look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 8. There is a reward for labor. There is a reward for laboring. Now, that he, now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 8. Serving God involves work. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. At Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 5, 
also look at Romans chapter 16, verse 12. Worshiping God can involve working. Israel had to work to make the tabernacle in Solomon's temple. Look at Exodus chapter 40, verse 33. Work was required to repair the damaged temple so Israel could resume worship. Look at Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 16. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. That's the Gospel of John chapter 6, verse 29. Also, look at John chapter 6, verse 28, and Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12. God knows about our work. Revelation chapter 2, verse 2. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Also look at Proverbs chapter 15, verse 19. One will not have his needs met if he does not work for them. He will have a hard life and will find himself wanting. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. That's Proverbs chapter 20, verse 4. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. That's Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4. Look also at Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24, and Proverbs chapter 15, verse 19. Laziness or slothfulness hurts a person. The desire of the slothful killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. That's Proverbs chapter 21, verse 25. The soul of the sluggard desireth, and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. That's Proverbs chapter 13, verse 4. Too many people quit looking for work when they find a job. This has been Empty Cross Ministries a Devotional Time. I'm Brother David, and we're going to close out with a prayer and a song. Heavenly Father, we come to you, leaning upon the windowsill of heaven, seeking your grace, seeking your forgiveness, seeking your bounty. Father, we give you thanks that you give us the opportunities to work and provide for ourselves and our families and even for others and even to support the ministries. Father, we thank you for the sunshine. We thank you for the rain. We thank you for the opportunities that you provide us to work and to work in your name and to work for your glory. And it's in Jesus' precious and holy name we pray these things. Amen. We're going to close out with another song. Sweet Beulah Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Stay safe, be blessed, stay in the Word, and write the Word upon your heart.